Cloud Functions gives developers quite an ideal experience. You write code, you give Cloud Functions your code, and Cloud Functions takes care of everything else to run it in a fully managed production environment, ready to run thousands of invocations of your code at any given time. One of the defining traits of serverless platforms like Cloud Functions is that you get to focus on writing your code. The platform handles the rest. Serverless means that these operations get abstracted away from the developer experience. Those abstractions can also be constraints. Your code will only go as far as those use cases that the underlying platform can support. This is why we are introducing Cloud Functions second generation, a new version of Cloud Functions built to bring new functionality to the platform. This means Cloud Functions can now serve even more developer use cases all while maintaining the same developer contract and simplicity. Are you concerned about running a bit more intensive code in Cloud Functions? We've bumped up the amount of resources an instance of your code can use to four CPUs and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Do you spend extra time working through how to roll out new versions of your code to only serve a portion of requests or invocations? Cloud Functions second gen makes this process declarative. You can now just tell Cloud Functions how traffic should be split between different versions of your code. All of this is possible because Cloud Functions second generation replatformed its underlying infrastructure to use Google Cloud's container service, Cloud Run. But don't worry, despite this change, the experience remains the same for developers. Write code, deploy to Cloud Functions. Finally, second gen will also greatly expand the sources that can trigger your code's execution. Over 90 plus event sources are now natively supported through Event Arc, new sources like BigQuery. For many of you, this means that you won't have to wire together custom code to trigger their code from sources that previously were not supported in Cloud Functions. Whether or not you're a Cloud Functions Pro, we encourage you to get started by looking at our documentation, our code lab that walks you through these new features, or even directly visiting the Cloud Console, which has been updated to help you seamlessly onboard into deploying your code to Cloud Functions. This is Stephanie Wong.